Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully like. All right. And uh, I think I'm going to title this lesson something to the effect of uh, Israelites are Canaanites. You niggas bugging, you know. And, uh, you know, that that's a tentative title, like the brother uh, said, you know, when I just talked about said in this one of his videos, title was subject to change. But, um, yeah, man, you know, I was uh, I finally got a chance to catch the brother Sean Moore's uh, live stream yesterday. Uh, I, I saw it yesterday for the first time, but he, he posted it a while back. Uh, he streamed live uh, on, in April, on April 14th. And, uh, man, you know. You know this ain't this ain't exactly what this is about but it's funny that i watched this yesterday and then today i get a scoffer you know on my channel um and let's just read the scoffer's comment here see if i can see if i can see it on my page yeah here we go all right so he didn't even copy the whole thing this is ezekiel uh 16 and uh three Actually, you know what? Is it? No, actually, this is another one. Um, but it says it in, in Ezekiel 16 and 3. But, you know, hey, man, you know, I'm going to get into it. Let me just, just get this here. Pull up this actual location, Salakia. I thought I had it. But I have another one. Okay, so it's 16 to 45. Okay, so this is the one he quoted. Thou art thy mother's daughter that loatheth her husband and her children. And thou art the, the, the sister of thy sisters which loathe their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite and your father an Amorite. Okay. And thine elder sister is Samaria. And she and her daughters that dwell at thy left at thy left hand, and thy younger sister that dwelleth with, is uh, at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughters. Anyway, so um you know so people are using this to say uh, the dude. Let's read the comments. So like he's you know a little early. Let me get it back to it. Uh, so he says dealing with the book, Jacob's dad was a Canaanite. So. People are trying to use this, you know, and it's not a new doctrine. You know, I'm, I've I've already done a video on this. Like you can see, I did this video a while back, March 24th, you know, with this thing or this dude, which I'm going to just mute it. You know, this old bald head, coon ass nigga, and, you know, and it's the same pattern. You know, this dude, you know, just like this dude, um, you know. So bald head do not keep him commandment number one, thinking he understand the Bible, you know, uh, coming out of his yap, his trap, you know, his yapper, and that hole in his face saying that, uh, you know, well, I don't, I don't follow the Bible, but I've read the text and you, you don't understand shit. Okay. The Bible is, it has to be decoded, you know, it has to be decoded through the scriptures. I mean, through the spirit, you know, not only do you have to go precept upon precept, you have to read, but the Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you, man. You, you, the Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you and, and you, 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 you Christians and you people who don't really believe in the scriptures, who think that you African and all these other things, you have no understanding, man. A lot of you guys is paid the fuck off, you know, and uh, it just reminded me instantly of this fucking nigga right here on Sean Moore's uh, live stream, you know, the brother Sean's live stream, you know, who just kept on spewing this bullshit out his fucking mouth for like 20, 30 minutes straight. He took up damn near the whole live stream with this fucking bullshit talking about we Canaanites, man. And it's niggas like this is going to get the worst fucking type of death, man. That, that, that have heard the gospel and just want to be fucking demons, man. I'm going to just let this play for a second, man. It's just make your fucking blood boil, man. Listen to these dumbass niggas, man. That's not true. The Bible's saying Esau is going into slavery. Yeah, people on here are saying, go away. And then yeah. you call yourself African. Hey, man, you can't. Just, just go ahead, big guy. All right, dude, okay. need to get on. Yeah, this not for block. you. Hey, but look, if you just. The Africans sold us in the slave. You got hey, cut with Joel you? 
and Amos. Would you want to have a debate, brother? We I don't want to debate because you don't know the Bible. <laughs> you know, and, and that's the that's the that's the uh, pride of you niggas, man. You come on talking about debating something you don't fucking understand, man. <laughs> Why well, debate? Hey, how come I'm the one you, you don't know the Bible? I'm, I've been reading from the Bible the whole time. You coming up here talking about we're African? You going that's off? That's Show me in the Bible that we're African. Show me. It's not going to be in there. The Bible says by precepts I get understanding. Uh, Isaiah 28. Africans sold us. I showed you that in Amos 1 and Joel chapter 3. Yeah, everybody on here is saying, go away, get out of here. Listen, y'all are Canaanites. No, we're not and Africans. Hamites. Okay, you got. You hear this dude, man? Listen, y'all are Canaanites and Hamites. Yo, smooth face, poke. You know the nigga eat pork? You know the nigga eat pork, man. You can see it on his face, man. He's like a pig eating motherfucker, man. You know? Excuse my French, man, but the niggas piss you off, man. Listen, y'all are Hamites and Canaanites. You know, then here come a motherfucker on my on my on my uh, on my on my channel. Trying to quote a scripture, you know, thinking he know what the what the fuck is going on, man. You know, and let's just read it, you know, like he says, you know, with the book Jacob Dad was a Canaanite, you know. And uh I'm gonna respond to this dude, you know, just for edification's sake on my channel. I'm gonna respond to him. But um I don't wanna report him, I wanna block him. Go to his channel, him, her, whatever. <clears throat> you know, cause they're not gonna get a chance to e even come with this shit. You know, ain't got no no video. There's a three second video clip, you know. You know, you blocked, man. You already know it's folly, man. Uh, look at look like some kid or something. Anyway, man, I'm 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 gonna uh, go on the comment board and rebuke him, but you know, I just had to make a video real quick, man. You know, because they people don't have they don't have have understanding, man. They come on here talking shit. They don't understand what 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 the narrative is. They don't understand the story of the scriptures. You know, and but really this is a this is the further cut to show you that people were called after the lands that they lived in, and in the lands that they were born in. Much like somebody born in America is is called an American. You know, we're given the false byword African American because they claim we're African Hamites and Canaanites, like that dumbass nigga on Sean Moore's live stream, or like this nigga on the comment board. You know, Asian American. You know, uh, a Native American. Uh, you know, whatever it is, man. You know, Mexican American. You know, and so people were called after these lands because this is where they lived. You know, this is where they were born in some cases. So let's get this uh, Gen Genesis chapter 11. And I'm going to start at um, uh, verse 27. Now, these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, which later became Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah. So like you, in the land of his nat nativity, Ur of the Chaldees. So in this particular case, um... Because Ur of the Chaldees uh, uh, was a land of the or the uh, land of the Assyrians, Abraham would be an Assyrian man. He would be Assyrian. Let's look at that or a Babylonian. Uh, uh, Strong H two eighteen, which is Ur or Awar Awar or Awara Awar uh, Ur or flame, a city in southern Babylonia, city of the Chaldeans. You know home of Abraham's father Terah and departure point for the Abra for Abraham's migration to Mesopotamia and Canaan so um according to this he will be a Syrian you know which which that some of the people in that land was called Syrians Babylonians Assyrians so that's what Abraham would be called because of where he was born you know but we know that he that he was actually called a Hebrew you know let's continue and Haran died before his father Terah, of verse 28, in the land of his nativity, and Ur of the Chaldees, verse 29. And Abraham and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran. And Haran was the father of Milcah and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. Then Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran, the sons, uh, and the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, so he took his grandson, 
and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, and his son, uh, who was his son's Abram's wife. And they went forth, uh, he, and he took them and went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came into Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. You see? So they went into the land of Canaan from Ur of the Chaldees. You know, they were burnt. They were born in the land of, 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 uh, of the Chaldees, you know. So they would be called Babylonians, you know, in this particular case. Now, Yahweh has said unto Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land I will show thee. You know, and I will make thee a great nation and I will bless thee. Yeah. And make the great name, make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Now let's go to the point right here. Uh, oh, look at that. Verse five. And Abram took and Abram took Sarai his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their substance that they had gathered and the souls that they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sikkim, unto the plain of Moray, and the Canaanite was then in the land. I think he's saying that the, I think they're saying the Canaanites were actually dwelling in the land at that point. And Yahweh appeared unto Abram and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land, and there he built it, and there built he an altar unto Yahweh who appeared unto him. You know. So <clears throat> in this land would be where um where Isaac was um was born you know get that but we know he went through many great things um and uh you know they didn't move you know he was establishing himself and it would be genesis uh what 25. Uh, no, Salakia. I have trouble remembering locations. Oh, man, I'm going to have to look it up. Here's my sister. I'm going to be like, Salakia. Wish I uh, knew this off the top of the dome. I have problem with locations. Um, okay, so it is 25. Oh, I'm in Ezekiel, no wonder. No, I'm not in Ezekiel. Let me go back to Lockheed. Yeah, I thought it was 25. I just didn't read it. Oh, I'm looking at um so I get and I wonder I'm thinking about when Isaac had when Isaac had uh Jacob and Esau. My bad, y'all. So uh Isaac. Yeah. Okay, twenty one. Yeah, I forgot. Salakia. So messing up my lesson. All right, uh, Genesis chapter 21. Um, the, and Yahweh visited Sarah as he had said, and Yahweh did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which the Most High had spoken unto him. Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarai, who Sarah bore him, bare to him uh, Isaac, you know. And let me just look here and see. Cast out the bond woman. But the point, you know, the point I'm making is that the reason why, um, let me go back to the comment. The reason why Jacob's dad was a, called a Canaanite is because he was born in the land of Canaan, man. You know, like the promise to Abraham was this land will I give unto thee and unto thy seed, you know, it was in the land of Canaan. 
And since he was being born there, he was called a Canaanite, like I said, which is a cut to you people who say that the Gentiles are all the different nations. Because even in the Old Testament, people were being called after the land that they were born in and the lands that they lived in. They were not actually from the seed of Canaan. They were not Hamitic. They were not from the seed of Ham. They were still Shemites. They were just being called uh, after Canaanite names. Why? Because they dwelt in the land of Canaan. And, and in this particular case, uh, Isaac was born in the land of Canaan, man. You know, he was called a Canaanite. So when you look at some of these scriptures where Israelites are being called after these different names, you have to understand why is, why is it like that? Why? Because they were born in these lands, you know? Yeah, man, you, 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 uh, you, you Christians, man, you Christians and you people who think you know the scripture, you don't know the scriptures. And uh, let me see here, you know, oh yeah, this is that word Amorite, you know, that father was an Amorite. And it's just basically saying it was a land, one of the peoples of East Canaan and beyond the Jordan, dispossessed by the Israelite incursion from Egypt. So they, they got their land taken from them, you know. But just because, like I said, just because it says uh, Amorite doesn't mean that uh, they were from the seed of Ham. They were just being called after that land. But you uh, you, you people don't have any understanding. So you, uh, you you would say that it's not as such, you know. And so like you, you know, once again, brethren, for that slip up. Uh, got got the two uh, confused, you know. It's it's only seven, but I didn't really get much sleep, so Salakia. Like but um, yeah, you know, I just want to go into that, you know. Um, they, you know, a lot of times, even today, uh, uh, uh thing, uh, uh, even today, customs will show you that you were called after the land that you were born in. In a lot of cases, you know. So those, uh, you know, those different people that were called after those different lands. Just because they were called those names does not mean that their seed line goes back to the project or to the original people of those lands. And this is a is, this is a prime example of that. So anyway, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully leg. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. You know, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.